Climate change is a significant threat to rural communities that are vulnerable due to their geographic location and economic situation. The Adaptation Program and Financing Mechanism, AP and FM, for the Pilot Program for Climate Resilience, PPCR, through the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica, EFJ, has funded efforts to build the resilience of communities such as Jeffrey Town in St. Mary. Jet Town Products started within the Farmers Association because the women wanted to try and do something to earn additional income for themselves. We chose to make flour. We have our own traditional sweet potato pudding mix. We also make a gluten-free dumpling mix. We make planting porridge mix, and, and of course we have the flowers, the straight flour, cassava, breadfruit, sweet potato. The AP and FM um, financing was to build a refrigerator. We store our potatoes in there. And then now we use the production centre behind us to do our wet work and our drying. We started off, um, myself and um, production manager Daniil, working three or four days a month. And now we have a, a group of seven or eight part-timers and we work every day, right? Um, we make two to three thousand pounds of flour a month. The production process is pretty simple. It's potatoes coming in from the field. It's washed, sliced, peeled, dried. They bring them in in a chip form and those chips go through the mill and comes out the floor. Here at Jeton Products, our facility is solar powered. The Greenhouse Project was part of the AP and FM um, grant fund through the EFJ. So we have a greenhouse that needed to be moved from one point to another and to build a water catchment base, storage base, for to supply the, that greenhouse plus another greenhouse that we had. So the one that the project really funded um, was very, very successful. And um, we are in the process now to um, restart under cropping in there. The Jeffreytown Farmers Association has received a number of local and international awards over the years, including the Equator Prize for promoting local sustainable development solutions. It is increasing climate resilience through community-driven efforts. It's helping food security in that way and helping livelihoods, actual cash flow in your pocket, helps build resilience in a community. Our whole endeavour with all the projects that we've done is about climate re resilience. And um, we, I believe personally that we have to do more protective agriculture by greenhouse farming. Innovation is key in adding value to products. We were the first in Jamaica to produce a sweet potato pudding mix, um, where we add our value, um, make it into a packet that you can just add water and bake a pudding in a short space of time. I think it's a good idea to be innovative. I think you need to think through the process to make certain that your ideas can come to fruition. You want to, to see um, that there's a niche for what you can do and what you can deliver. And even if you're doing the same as somebody else, there must be demand for what you are doing so that you can fit in. So you have to have a, a, an income generating activity that is sustainable, can hold its place in the market and can um, maintain the, the assets of the association or the group. And what are some of the lessons that have been learned? Utilize the people that have the expertise before you implement or put in a project or apply for a project. The most important thing is to be honest, to work hard and, and um, to build an, a decent reputation because people will help you if they see that you are working towards uh, a sensible and attainable goals. Don't allow your goal to be directed by outside voices. Find your niche product, find something different, fit a gap, find something that makes sense and is viable and can help you. Have a plan. You must have a roadmap for where you really want to go and keep plugging at it. Experience has taught us to be very wary 
of the tradesmen you use to deliver your projects for you. It's important to remember that the cheapest is not always the best. You need to get reputable people to produce the goods for your uh, project, separate and apart from the community contribution. You need to listen to the local people. They know what happens in their community. Our best resource is, is our people and our land that we have. And the conditions, as bad as the weather is, we can survive. It's only up for us to allow the people to utilize the space that they have. To learn more about the APNFM, visit www.ppcrja.org.jm.